Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about dry eyes. Dry eyes are quite a common symptom for a lot of women going through uh, menopause and obviously it's uncomfortable and it's also unpleasant. Because the hormone changes can lead to a lot of moisture within your eyes along with the changes in hormones causing you problems with your sleep and then also the changes in your hormones um, causing general fatigue none of this is beneficial to your eyes so when your eyes dry out obviously they're going to feel uncomfortable and gritty they can also get sore irritated and you know your eyes can look sore and irritated so they're going to be really red or at least rather pink now the problem with dry eyes is if they stay dry for prolonged periods then it can actually cause damage to your eye so if you're suffering with regular bouts of dry and irritated sore eyes it really is better to see your doctor or your optician for some professional help advice and treatment if you only tend to get short bouts of it or it's very mild you can buy over the counter eye drops that are designed to help to moisturize the eye rather than just the ones that are for allergies and, and irritation so that's one thing you can try but if you're unsure or you'd rather be checked professionally see either your doctor or your optician protecting your eyes from the sunlight by wearing sunglasses helps as well it helps to reduce the drying of your eyes from obviously basically the bright light and the external heat and also smoky atmospheres, you need to protect your eyes from those and not just talking about um, cigarette smoke but also smoke from bonfires and also barbecues. Any smoky atmosphere is not good for your eyes and it's certainly not good for you if your eyes are already suffering from dryness and soreness and irritation. And screen time is another one of those things. When we stare at a screen for any length of time and for long periods of time, we actually blink less and blinking is a natural way that um, your eyes have of self lubricating so when you blink, blink it is moving the fluid around the eyeball so if you're staring at a screen whether it's a phone screen a computer screen a tablet screen you will blink far less so if you can reduce or restrict or at least break up your screen time that will help because your eyes will then have more of a chance to naturally moisturize themselves. If you work with computers, I know that can be difficult, but it's one of those things that we've been told for years, if you can take regular eye breaks from the screen. So if you do that regularly, and then obviously your blinking will naturally increase and it will help to keep your eyes moisturized. So you need to give your eyes as much rest as you can from various types of screens. Um, pollen is another thing obviously that can be an irritant to eyes so even if you don't necessarily suffer with full-blown hay fever you may find that during the spring and summer months that pollen can cause irritation to your eyes so again wear sunglasses you can buy anti-allergy um, eye drops over the counter again have a word with your pharmacist and that is good so if you can keep the pollen out then at least you'll lose some of the irritation um, in your eyes and uh, your eyes won't be so red and sore. If you wear contact lenses, that can actually be a problem if you're suffering with dry eyes or an irritated eyes because it, they can actually aggravate the situation. Now I know a lot of people prefer to wear contact lenses rather than glasses and uh, that's great but if you're having problems with your eyes you may find that you have to change back to glasses or at least swap to your glasses for a certain period of time until your your eyes are feeling more comfortable again it's another one of those things you really should discuss with your optician if you explain the problem with the dry eyes and what you've been using to treat it and that you normally wear contact lenses and get a little bit more advice from them because they really are the professionals when it comes to eyes and eyesight and also damage to eyes so definitely speak to your optician if um, your contact lenses are also becoming a problem for you and the main thing I think to remember is we, we all get sore eyes sometimes whether because we're tired or because we tend to have um, a touch of hay fever if your 
eyes are really sore and really dry and, it, and it's becoming prolonged and it's becoming a problem, see a professional, see your doctor, speak to your optician and get some help and advice because remember continually dry eyes really can cause damage and obviously nobody wants their eyesight to be damaged. So there are just a few tips there, I hope you find them helpful. I know the main focus of this really is to speak to a professional but nonetheless the tips for protecting your eyes from further damage, aggravation and dryness are things that you can do yourself. So give them a go, I hope they help. Thank you for watching, if you'd like to be notified about more videos that are coming up then if you click the notification below, bell below the video there's also a subscribe button there too. Thank you for listening and I'll see you soon.